Actually, you can start in the mirror. <laughs> Just that So on my quest to find action heroes, I find Matthew in yes, the makeup chair. That's right, getting uh, getting Carmex on my lips. All right, I'm going here. Does it look good? Yeah, it's about as macho as a guy can be, right? Now, now tell me, who do we have here? Gita. Gita, what is the secret to making him look so handsome? Very little. Oh, uh, she's a sweet oh. talker. <laughs> <laughs> God, she is just not telling the truth. Now we've got. She used a trowel, and there was like um, is this joint real? compound. Are these real? No, this all comes out. <laughs> no, it's actually my mustache and my beard. No, seriously, what, what do you have to do to him in a makeup chair? What do you, what, do you put on base, mascara, what? No. Uh, well, a little bit of foundation, and that's about it, really. Moisturizer, good healthy skin. Yeah, we, uh, you know, she combed my eyebrows, and, uh, and we're out. That's basically, <laughs> basically what we did. Mm -hmm. And the beard. There we go, and don't forget the beard. This looks, this looks it's, so like this an action is hero, really you know? really sharing too much, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're crossing the line. Oh, we are. No. You're <clears throat> doing great. So, Forbes, how are you since <laughs> last I saw you? <laughs> I was like, I don't know. What do I talk to Matthew about? Let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, let, me, uh, let me ask you... Um, what, what have you been doing since last I saw you? I'll tell you, he's not going to make a good reporter for this TV show. You may, yeah. You're not going to have to stick to playing Robin Hood. Well, you know what? It's like I, uh, you know, I, I get this thing. It's called a script. See what I'm saying? And they're lines. And then I say, you know, I do that. Well, that yeah, that's not, it. Yeah, I have, I, really, because I actually have nothing to say, you know, if it's just on my own. No, oh, I'm going to come to the other side. That has to be written for me. No, we like the back of your head. You like the back of my head. No, yeah. I'm not stupid. I'm going to stand right here. This. So, you've been working out lately? Uh, every day. Every day? Every day, but, uh, you know, I showed up here, and they've got all the other action heroes here, and forget it. I don't care how much I work out. I'll never look like Conan. Just not going to happen. <laughs> he is kind of a big boy, huh? Yeah, he's, uh, yeah, his parents were eating right when they had him, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> now, how does this feel? I mean, normally you don't hang out with other action heroes. No, no yeah, us action heroes don't, yeah, we don't, we don't hang out together. special club of action heroes. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's, it's, it's true. But now I think there's going to be, like, every Monday night we're all going to get together and, uh, you know, go out and... Um, you know, fight crime together. That's how they get, get some maidens, some exactly. fair maiden sword fight down the sun. Some drinks, and then we go out and fight crime. So now, who who have you met so far? Uh, I've met Ralph, and I've met Joe, Tarzan, and Conan. And any impressions? <clears throat> and say any impressions? And any impr no, I don't do a Tarzan impression, but any impressions <laughs> right. of them. I don't, oh. do, I don't do impressions for us. Uh, they were really nice, great guys. In fact, I mean, I haven't really talked to them much, but um, when I talked to them, they had they had good energy. Yeah. Good guy, Were you yeah. surprised by how big Conan is? Uh, you know, I suppose you know Conan should be big, but uh, yeah, he's he's almost bigger in life. Well, so now the question really is, can Robin Hood defeat Conan? Excuse me. Push come to shove, I think I can take him. I think I can take him. Okay, I'm living a lie. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go talk to Ralph. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Listen, wait a second, don't, don't say that I said that, okay? Oh, no, no, it, it's All just right. between you and it's, me. It's, it's, it's a joke. But you know what, Dex dexterity and wit, you are totally supreme. Uh, yeah, 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 sure, Robin Hood, are you kidding? It's kind of like, um, yeah, I outwit guys that are twice my size, and in, you know, Ralph's case, four times my size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, um, well, let's just... Kind of listening, and it's amazing how, how captivating I can be. Oh my God! So um, just, uh, just, just, just no, no lips. Just, yeah. you know, just you know, you, you know, I'll talk. Just, you just kind of nod and look look how en right. look enchanted. Just so ch oh yeah, aren't I just so much fun to be with? Yeah. I'm kind of goofy and silly and <laughs> hey, right. Your reaction is oh really? Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you want smaller? I'm sorry, man. All I'm I do sorry. is big. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll be really small. Oh, really? I did. I watched your whole episode. It was really cool. Who's the woman who plays your aunt? Uh, oh, I can't. You can't talk. Right, Sorry. I can't. So just. Good. And let's do chorus. So now you can talk to me. Uh, well, okay. Uh, I was. Um, it was. Uh, I was senior in high school. And uh, I decided to uh, break into my ex 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 girlfriend's house, and uh, so we did. And we we broke house. Have you ever seen your ex ex boyfriend or girlfriend's mother at like uh, three o'clock in the morning in her nightgown? Yes, yeah, it's, it's not pretty. Not pretty at all. In fact. 
it's downright ugly. Or just do a, a small nod, you know, that it can be taken, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it's, just, it's very Casablanca of you, just that one nod. Yeah. Great. You got some sassy, uh, sassy pants on there. Sassy, uh, sassy uh, yeah. black pants kicking. Because I'm, you know, I'm thinking like Brain Dresher. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're thinking? Yeah. You're thinking Brain Dresser. Yeah. All right. Okay, there you go. Let's give him the ultimate shirt. Come they, do, on. they do the, uh, you know, the, oh, gosh, I love it, so. the windows. Oh, oops. Ah! Wow. Chicks in bikinis. I know. They want to be in a bikini. But I don't see how you guys are about, you know, without shirts on. I didn't wax. Oh, please. Do I want to know that? Wow. Better. I don't have that much. Robin, Robin Hood has more. Robin Hood has more here. Okay. So let's now, 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 now let's fake my hair, okay? Now let's fake my hair. You know, you do something with your mouth that is so beautiful and you know exactly what it is. No, I yes, don't you do. You, I don't know. You do too. I know you. Believe me, yes, I don't do. know. You know your own charm. He does a sexy mouth thing, which I love. I need my sword. <laughs> Conan needs his sword. I want my sword. I'm hungry. Hungry. I need women. <laughs> I love it. I need it. fights. <laughs> right? <laughs> you are too much. Oh, I love Now, now, drop your chin. Drop, drop, drop. Oh. Move. I will. Yes, now. I want that mouth thing, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you. <laughs> 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 so, whose outfit is that for? This one is for Tarzan. He's wearing a white ran shirt and uh, taupe linen pants. And he's going to wear this belt when I can unhook it. And he's going to look great. What color is the loincloth that he's wearing today? It's like a beige. <laughs> Forbes. Patricia, tell me your last name. Uh, C. Uh, C. Cookson. Patricia C? Yeah. This is the woman who gets to put all these men on the cover. Now, Patricia, tell me, you've got all these beautiful men. How did you decide what the cover is going to look like? Well, what I wanted to do was uh, go for the, each one has such an amazing face, beautiful bone structure. So I, I wanted to put them all together, just their faces, you know, just like do a black and white, sepia toned, just faces because these guys are superheroes. You know, like I walk out my, my, my apartment this morning, everyone says, oh, what are you doing this morning? I said, five superheroes, you know, just a normal day in Hollywood, right? But I mean, the thing is, we, we got them all fully dressed, but I just feel that on a cover, if we have them all in um, as full lengths, mm -hmm. it, we're going to lose impact, especially with these guys. I think we really, really need their faces because they all drop dead gorgeous. Really, I kind of want to see their naked chests, but that's just a personal so preference. So do I. So do I. And I think Girls of the World Unite, I think we'd also like to see that as so well. So even if we don't use it as the cover, can we just get that shot? I'll do my best. Okay. okay. <laughs> definitely, I will definitely try. We, we're going to, um, if, if any of them um, are a little nervous about that, then we'll just work them into it slowly. And I think it's just a case of, because they're all, they're all superheroes, um, we have to just like, um, you know, let them all feel comfortable with each other as well. I mean, they're such a great bunch of guys. Is this unusual? I mean, normally you have a cover of one person. Yeah. Now, you've got a lot of potential egos here. How do you mm. make that all work? Um, only one way. I love them all. I just want to get their best angles. That's all you can do, you know, I mean, they are egos. I mean, these are all people who are out there working, they were recognizable faces. Um, they're all personalities in their own rights. They've got their publicists present. Um, I just think that the best thing one can do is just passionately make them look wonderful. And I don't think you can go wrong, I really don't. Now, I've interviewed all of them. One of the things yeah. that you'll find, they are the nicest guys in the oh, world. I mean, I've been shooting with Ralph right now and he has just got, he's got this dimple. 
and he's got this, this I want to see his baby pictures. Oh. He must have been the cutest baby. He was the biggest baby. He was like, he was a, he was a seven baby. foot baby. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and what I loved was, um, was like when Joe came in and Matthew came in, they're so humble. They've got such a sweetness about them. And, and for me, it was, it was a relief, you know, because you walk onto a shoot like this and you kind of worry a little bit. You think, you know, oh my word, is this going to be the shoot from hell? But no, it's been a, such a pleasure. It really has. Oh, good. Well, we're just going to get lots of, lots of coverage of you doing them. this. Who's next? Um, well, I'm going to still pop off some on Ralph because he's got, uh, he's got um, fencing lessons. And, you know, these guys have to keep this hero thing going. You know, I mean, you know, it takes a lot of time to be heroic. Um, so uh, he's got to go, and then we're losing uh, Tarzan at two, I think, because he's also got to go and learn how to ride elephants or, or swing some. He's going to go down to sun. He's going down to sunset and vine. <laughs> sunset and vine. There you go. You see, he's got to do the vine thing. So we're losing him, and then we're just going to put the whole, all of them together, and take a lovely group shot, and then we're going to just do lovely. Sh but we will try and, uh, you know. Just, 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 just the chest thing for me, just a little. Oh, I know, I know. And those chests are worth seeing. Trust me on this one. Okay. I'm in the makeup room. <laughs> we'll go take a peek. We'll hey, see you in a little gotta, bit. She's going to get back to work. You got it. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, kind of, oh. That standard reaction so Maybe he can cut away. Yes, oh, sure. Huh. So you, you can't talk, no. Yeah, you kind of, I get to talk to you and tell you how exciting this is. This is a good studio. This is a very interesting, I get to, get to do a lot of interesting things, don't you? I brought my little instrumatic so that I can get a photo with these guys. No, no, you can't. Don't, don't move your lips. So, is this been fun? Is my blouse orange? <laughs> no, it's not. It's black. Black velvet. Okay, Forbes, so we'll just get some with you. Put that light behind you. Now you get to talk to me. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. um, well, actually, your um, blouse is black. It's very beautiful black. It's kind of a lovely texture velvet thing. And um, you know what? We should be doing a magazine cover of you. You are particularly gorgeous. Uh, yeah, I think we've got to get together sometime, really. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can't do it. Yeah. Can you okay, so we try that one. He's not so good. That looks nice. See that one? Is it just better? Yeah, that is yeah. good. Yeah. I like that. Good? Great. Here, just leave that one on. I'm going to tuck it in later. I'll, get, I'll do something with it. The sleeves it's are long enough, freeze. so it's fine. It's good. It's a free and easy route that we might yeah. kind of Yeah, with the jeans and the shirt on top. Can I keep that. it? No. No, then I, then I put it oh. on. <laughs> Only when I get it for free. Yeah, that's, see, that's <laughs> then I hold it, right? I keep it on. No, these are not for you. And you thought it was just women who spent all this time in makeup chairs. Look what I found, Tarzan. Hi, Joe. How are you? How are you? No, you can you can keep working. I know he's got he's got a big photo shoot. We want him to look great. Although, you don't have to do very much, do you? Not not at all. Oh, she's, she's most kind. Thank you. So how's it going? It's going very well. We're just getting ready to do a little uh, a little photography out there. And, uh, now, how long were you on location shooting? I was actually over in Africa almost 10 months this last time. Uh, we shot Tarzan for about seven and a half, and I did a film uh, before we actually started shooting Tarzan. So I was a total of about almost 10 months. Now, do you put makeup, this is a very personal question, do you put makeup on your body as well when you do just blowing your cloth shots? <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't put any makeup on my body, no. He doesn't. Of course, I'm sure you'd like to apply it. Can, can, I, can I help? The oil. The oil? <laughs> do you do that? Yeah, they spray you with uh, glycerin and, <laughs> and... And that special makeup artist who has to rub it in. Some sun protection. Oh, yeah, you are out in the sun a lot, aren't you? Yeah, and we shoot through the summer months, so uh, they do put sunscreen on, yeah. Now, you know, Tarzan is a big responsibility, isn't it? 
Actually, I, I do. I do think it is. I, I think uh, portraying Tarzan like Edgar Rice Burroughs uh, originally intended him to be is uh, is important to me. And uh, yeah, the, the legacy is it's a long legacy, and it's important to do a good job. I feel. Yeah. yeah there's lots of other superheroes running around here. Oh yeah, there's uh, there, there's superheroes abounding this afternoon. Actually, we call them legendary heroes because you guys don't really have superpowers. Um. We, 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 I don't know if we all have superpowers, but it's, there's more like a sixth sense to it. There's this, there's this extra sensory thing that we all have to uh, kind of get you jump on the bad guys, you know. So. Kind of extraordinary men. If you insist. <laughs> I do. Now, you walked, you met. Medium close up on you. Great. <coughs> Are you able to sit up more in that chair a little bit better? Yeah, that's it. Actually, I can be shorter. Yeah, that's good. I'll there be shorter. Okay. I'll be shorter. All right, now we can continue. All right, so now we've got Conan and Robin Hood in the other room. Who, mo who most intimidates you? Conan and Robin Hood. Uh, well, I don't know. They're, they're all kind of intimidating, but I don't want to let them know that, you see. Ah, okay, so now we put you and Robin Hood in a room together, fight to the death. Who's going to win? I, I can't do that. Uh, Robin Hood and I have, have no... Uh, no problem with each other, so uh, I wouldn't imagine that we'd ever end up in a room together, uh, in any sense, <laughs> for that matter. How about, how about Sinbad? He comes to steal the treasure from Tarzan. Uh, he comes to steal the treasure from me. Mm -hmm. um, I can't imagine Sinbad doing that either. They're all they're all nice guys. We 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 do hang out occasionally. We have no we have no quarrels. Are we gonna have a legendary like Monday night poker game? That wouldn't hurt. That wouldn't hurt. Um, is there every possibility we could play a little poker, yes. Now, are you single? Uh, yes, I am. I'm not married. Yeah. What do you look for in a woman? Um, I don't know. It's just uh, wholesomeness. And, uh, uh, it, it's just somebody who appeals to me, you know. I'm, uh, I really don't know. It's, uh, I just always wanted to ask Tarzan, you know, what his, what his ideal Jane was. Just a girl who's well-rounded, well-balanced with her um, ability to handle the jungle and uh, her ability to handle uh, uh, more sophisticated things. Yeah. So, well, <laughs> oh boy, that's a tough question. I don't know. Do people stop you on the street and recognize you? Uh, no. Not yet? No. Well, after this, they will. Uh, uh, I hope so. I hope everybody enjoys the show. It's, uh, we're working really hard to bring everybody a good show and uh, to do a good job for you. So. What's one of the most interesting things that you've learned playing Tarzan? Oh, it's just um, people ask me what, what, what makes Tarzan, uh, this, this character has lasted as long as he has. And, and, and he, uh, I just think he's very intriguing. It's the freedom that he represents. And I think uh, to a greater or lesser degree, uh, uh, Tarzan lives in all of us, you know, that, that, that man-calling beast, the side of us that appeals uh, to nature. And uh, so it's nice. I'm liking this. Now, you said you're going to go hang out with the animals for a while in Africa on your way back? Yes, we are. We're going to do some uh, stock uh, footage with animals and stuff to uh, interject into the show as we go along through the year. What yeah. animal best represents Joe? Mm, it would have to be a cross between... Uh, uh, an eagle and a lion and a crocodile. I don't know. <laughs> you know, it makes me want to have my own private zoo and just have you in it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. He has the most amazing eyes. I'm sorry if I'm like sitting here going, oh, uh, hello. hello. <laughs> I'm just, I'm being really silly. What, what, so what, what makes you silly? What makes me silly? Uh, I don't know. I, I sometimes I get in. I seem pretty mellow, but I have my moments where I can get into a pretty, you know, crazy moods or whatever. But uh, I'm pretty eclectic, so I get excited about doing different things when I'm not on the set, you know. And uh, so I guess my enthusiasm to do the things that I really love to do makes me get silly sometimes. Can you just see the personal ad? Tarzan loves to get silly, likes women, kind of like a crocodile, lion, eagle kind of guy. Sure, that sounds good to me. Yes. Say without moving uh, your lips. Just need to hurt. Without moving my lips. Just uh, listen to her. So I'm just going to do this monologue and you're so enchanted with it. Yeah, because it's fine. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm just this silly looking girl with a velvet yeah. shirt. Yeah. Or even what she just said. Without looking here. Without looking where? Like a single camera shoot. 
It's nice having multi cameras. Uh, okay, of course. I'll do you again. Mm -hmm. Now you can talk to me because I can't move my lips. <laughs> I don't even know. It's serious. The serious stuff that he was talking about. So then we went on this uh, wild trip. Little and Shadow Matthew, yeah. Bacha Bacti's Matthew? I can't hear it. Bacha Bacti? My back. Bacha Bacti. Oh, boy, I have to. Okay, now what I want is that one more. So sick of her telling me what to do. Yeah. I mean, I'm so sick of that. Yeah. They so always come. They always come and tell us something. I'm sitting here and she's like, yes. You know, a lot of big <laughs> guys, you know. I want your you face in the same plane of focus as his over here, okay? Yeah. So, here you go. Now, all right, both of you, be charming, all right? Charming? Yes. That's Damn. not going to happen. Charm. Hey, no. go on. Give me your sexy thing. Come on. I want, yeah. Come on. You're not. He, I'm not letting you get away with it. This is my only chance to really bully you. Oh, Matthew, where's your eyebrow? Oh, yeah. It's one of those eyebrows up. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. Yes. Both of you do it. Both of you. What the hell is it? I want to ask you both of you. You're over the whole thing. Yes. Do you remember? Come on, yes, I Come on you have to give the, give the eldest. Give the eldest. Go, go. Come on, believe me when I tell you, baby. Come on, give the eldest. You keep still, guys. Yeah. No, no, I want more expression. <laughs> Emote. Emote. Where's your motivation here? Oh, oh my God. God. The rivalry is thick. You can feel it. My costume. Oh, like, my costume <laughs> <He's> so <hot. laughs> They're gonna say it, it, it probably looks like he's actually wearing me on, on his back. <laughs> I, I'm actually just a growth that on his back. Okay. Now you've gone boring again. So right? something. Yeah, maybe you um... <laughs> <laughs> This is an absolute dream job. You know what's really funny is these guys are all kind of trying to outdo each other. Who's got the bigger muscles? Who's the fastest, wittier? Whittier? That's a city in Los Angeles. From the top? <laughs> yeah. This is an absolute dream job. Little girl from Long Island gets to hang out with legendary heroes. You know what's really funny is they're all trying to outdo each other. Who's bigger? Who's stronger? Who's faster? Uh-oh. I just got Matthew's attention. Don't hurt me, Robin. This is so much fun. I get paid for this. Do you believe it? That's my husband's <laughs> Yeah. Hi, I'm Forbes Riley. Now we are backstage at the cover shooting for Hot Spots magazine. We're shooting legendary heroes Tarzan, Sinbad, Conan, Robin Hood, and Highlander. You know, and they're kind of thin, nothing kind of guys. You know, there's nothing spectacular about. Oh my God. What do you mean? Conan. This is Here's Conan. Conan. <laughs> Robin is waiting. Tarzan too. Yeah. Right? And they all come to meet you. Oh no. To get an interview <laughs> from you. Don't you love this? What? Please. We're focusing. We're doing this quickly. And Forbes, anytime. Hi, I'm Forbes Riley. Now, today we are backstage at a cover shooting for Hotspots magazine, and we're shooting legendary heroes. We've got Tarzan and Sinbad and Robin Hood and Highlander and, wait, I'm forgetting one. Who is it? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that, that guy from Conan. You know, we kind of... The... Of course, I mean... This is Ralph. What do you expect, huh? <laughs> Hi, Ralph. R Ralph... I got my sword today. How, how tall are you? 6'6". Uh, six, six. Oh, yeah? Six, oh, yeah? Six. Yeah? yeah? Six, let, let me, let me you want to see my muscle? Oh, wow, wow, that's great. <laughs> can, can I, can I see your muscles? Really well, let me, yeah, let me see. I mean, here, try, you know, let me see. Feel, His muscle you know, is as big as my entire thigh. So, so you had your workout this morning? I haven't already worked out this morning at 7. 
great workout for two hours. It was unbelievable. Then I got my old meal, and then I came here to this incredible photo shoot. Why do I feel like I'm standing in a hole? <laughs> Tarzan, of course, and wait, wait, excuse me. Conan. All right, all right, come here. Come here. Yeah, yeah, this is what I want to see. I want to see a guy who's really kind of small and skinny and my kind of guy over here. So how's it going? Fine, thank you. Very good. Now, I now feel you, very comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Now, now you met uh, Robin. This is kind of fun. I like this. You met Robin Hood. You met Tarzan. Yeah, yeah right. Who's the biggest threat to Conan? The biggest what? Biggest threat. Who's, who's going to take you down? Uh, I would say the girl who is in my movie or girls <laughs> like you that is where Conan has to be carefully and watch himself, you know what I mean? You don't think so, huh? Don't you just always love the this? Always the girls, thing? right? Is the, they is that, get us, is right? Is get you? Yeah, always. What, what, I, I want to ask you a question. Out. They're I, great guys. What, what do you eat? I eat chicken, rice, fish, you know, all this diet stuff. Big cows? Um, from time to time, yes, but not so much meat. You know, this morning I had actually my oatmeal. It was great, right? It was unbelievable. Oatmeal. Yeah. You know, you can get muscles like this from eating oatmeal. Oh, Quaker is no, going to love you. No, uh, but four hours workout, you know, <laughs> during the day. <laughs> you know, and, and, and can, right now, you know, and, and doing this horseback riding and all this fine of stuff, you know. And you know it. Okay. Also, I see you. Uh, Okay, in September, Conan is on air on UPN, Channel 13, here in Los Angeles. Conan comes back. Can, can I ask a silly question? Can, can you carry me off in like a Conan style? No, no, I can't. Because, I mean, uh, you know, I don't have to start to sweat. Oh, oh yeah, I don't want you, you know to, I, mean? I, I wouldn't want you to you sweat. That's what I mean, right? <laughs> <laughs> so let's start. Actually, I want you all standing. Standing on this. One. Just temporarily until I decide what I want to do with you all. Or just pants are. It's really, really wrinkled now, so. It doesn't matter. Because it's linen. Linen. It's supposed to wrinkle. It's the, the, the linen thing, you know? I don't know. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Y
Oh, Joe, I like that thing you do with your, your, do you know, that little quizzical, <laughs> I don't know, you do the kind of a... Whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. <laughs> I'm eating these men for breakfast. Oh, just say that again. Uh -huh. <laughs> what a good idea. Yes. <laughs> I should rule the world. I know. Okay, I'm going to. Can we all go? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do the Beatles one. We do the Beatles one. The Beatles one is where we're at. King on the swing. No, you two. Yeah, we know. We're all behind you. This is an idea. They're all there. We're all there. Everybody's a single violin. Yeah, yeah. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Joe, the same thing. Come over the side. Ralph, walk in. A little bit more contact between the three of you. That would be great. Would you suit me a second? Absolutely. Oh, I've got to get this. Thank you. That's great. Oh, wonderful. And Joe's looking as bored as any. This is wonderful. to get out of bed in the morning. She hated it. I know, I know. You know, I mean, the idea of actually working with legendary heroes, you know, these guys think Good they're title. so big and powerful you know I mean? and tall. I like this title, I have to tell you. <laughs> I just like title. being here, oh my God. <laughs> What's happening to you over here? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm trying to, con I have a job to do. I'm trying to interview you guys. Yeah, right. Look, we're doing this very serious yeah. cover for Hot Spots magazine. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. And we are all excited about it. We are excited? Yeah, we are <laughs> One of us excited. is. <laughs> Now you're sharing too much. I'm sorry. I hope, uh, <laughs> I hope that a million, million, and million people will see our shows, right? Robin Hood, that's done. But Absolutely. I mean, Conan, you know. <laughs> oh, see, I knew he was going know. somewhere. You see, he, he brought us all in as like kind of this fraternal brotherly thing, <laughs> and then no. he went. But really, it's all about me. Have you guys ever met before? Who? No, like the three of you. No. I'm too heavy. Where are you going? You're not I'm too. What is he trying to do? Oh, I, I don't know, ah! My God, ah! <laughs> well, this is a lovely thought. Thank you very much. Oh, yes, it's the new Conan and Forbes show. Oh, my goodness. I think it's just lying across the three of them. That's what I really want to do. Come here. I just want to. Oh, my God. Just, do you mind? You can hold the feet part. Conan, would you hold the butt part? Go for it, come on. One, two, three. See, this is one of the really tough jobs you can have in Hollywood, just hanging, hanging out with the superheroes. It's a really tough job. It is. So, um, I mean, it is so hard. It's so heavy. Oh, my God. Whereas, it's going to be the guy, you know? Me, Jane. Absolutely me, Jane. found Jane, yeah. Oh, I'm taking these guys home with me. You guys, 
This has been just too much fun. Yes? Yeah? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Pulling down my skirt. It's been too much fun, but my skirt is over you. We yeah. want you a lot of wish you a lot of success what? for your show. Oh. And uh, uh. And he seems and, really too much. Uh, don't yeah. hurt me, yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I, want, I want a sword fight with you. Come on, can we do this? Uh, I don't have a sword. Uh. <laughs> Darn. Exactly. Darn. <laughs> guess, guess I win by default. Uh, these guys have to get back to their photo shoot. Let's get serious here, okay, yeah, you guys? Come on, pose. It's all about being yeah. serious. Wow, look at this arm. I know. Unbelievable. Yeah. That's impressive. Okay. Muscles everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now. Perfect. All look gorgeous. Now you're all going to growl at me. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Lena, a little bit more in, sir. Mm -hmm. Intro. A little bit more in. Thank you. Matthew, not humorous enough. You rock the rich and give to the poor. Yeah, give you will do this. Yeah. You will have that cocky arrogance that Robert Hood is so well known. Yes, I love it. Don't move. Love it. She's the sheriff, Nottingham. Hi, I'm Forbes Riley, and today I'm getting to live one of my fantasies. We're here at a magazine shoot with three of TV's newest legendary heroes. Back there we've got Ralph Mueller. Ralph Mueller, he's playing Conan. Matthew Peretta plays the new Robin Hood, and Joe Lara playing Tarzan. Now they're about ready to get ready to shoot the cover. Let's see how this goes. Hi, I'm Forbes Riley, and today I am getting to live one of my fantasies. We're on the set of a magazine cover, and we've got legendary... Sorry. Hi, I'm Forbes Riley, and today I'm getting to live out one of my fantasies. We've got behind me three of TV's newest legendary heroes getting ready for a magazine cover shoot. We've got Ralph Mueller playing the new Conan, Joel Lara, the new Tarzan, and Matthew Peretta playing Robin Hood. I'm going to go see how it's going with these guys. Come on. Sir, could you step to the right? Thank you. And anytime. TV heroes, legendary heroes, have started to make a comeback on television. I mean, I grew up watching Tarzan and Robin Hood and even the Conan movie. Well, guess what? They're all making their way back onto television. And behind me, we've got the three newest guys playing these roles. Ralph Mueller, Joe Lara, and Matthew Peretta. They're getting ready for a magazine cover shoot. Let's see how it's going. Until he says no. Magazine, sorry. Magazine covers, we see them on stands everywhere, but how do those beautiful people get on the cover? Well, we're at a photo cover shoot today with three of TV's legendary heroes. We've got Conan, Tarzan, and Robin Hood. Not a bad looking group of guys. With the popularity of Hercules, Xenon, sorry, Xenon, I need, who's the third one? Legendary hero shows are making their way back onto television. Well, today we've got the men behind the myths. We're going to meet Tarzan, Conan, and Robin Hood. They're three very strapping young men, and they're posing for a magazine cover. We're just going to take a little behind the scenes and see if these men actually live up to the legends, you know? I like the Legendary action heroes are making their way back onto television with such shows as Conan, Robin Hood, and Tarzan. And with such immense popularity, the public is clamoring to know who are these heroes. Well, we're at a photo shoot for Hotspots Magazine, and today we're going to find out who are the men behind the myths. Legendary action heroes are making their way back onto television with such shows as Conan, Robin Hood, and Tarzan. Now the public is clamoring to know who are these men. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Three. Okay. Three, two, one. 
Legendary action heroes are making their way back onto television with such shows as Conan, Robin Hood, and Tarzan. Well, the public is just clamoring to know who are these men playing these roles. Well, today we're here at a photo shoot for a cover of a very... We're at a photo cover... We're at a photo shoot. Okay. Legendary action heroes are making their way back onto television with such shows as Conan, Tarzan, and Robin Hood. Now, people are clamoring to know who are these men behind the myth. Oh, sorry. Legendary action heroes are making their way back onto television with such shows as Conan, Tarzan, and Robin Hood. Now, the public is clamoring to know who are these men, the actors. Well, today here we're... Legendary action heroes are making their way back onto television. Legendary television. Okay, sorry. Three, two. Legendary action heroes are making their way back onto television with such shows as Conan, Tarzan, and Robin Hood. Now the public is clamoring to know exactly who are these men playing these roles. Well, we're at a photo shoot with three of the most popular action heroes. Let's go meet the men behind the myths. Legendary action heroes are making their way back onto the television screen with such shows as Conan, Tarzan, and Robin Hood. But the public is clamoring to know exactly who are these actors. Well, today we're here to photo shoot behind the scenes, and we're going to meet the men behind the myths. Good. I realize none of what we talked about is on camera. Okay, that's true. Yeah. It's actually, it's bad luck. To, to, yeah, talk, to, to see the bride. Oh, right, yeah. To see the bride, yes, exactly. Right. <laughs> it's true. Matthew is playing. Matthew's playing the new Robin Hood. Yes, I am. It's a big responsibility. A lot of Robin Hoods before you, huh? Uh, yeah, there were several. How, how many? Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, no, I'm totally making it up. There, there were a lot. There were a lot. I, I would imagine there's some that we we don't even know of. Out there playing Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> and Men in Tights. Right, exactly. Which, speaking of, you were in yes, I was. Robin Hood Men in Tights. I know, it just so happens. Who'd you play? I played Will Scarlet O'Hara. You see, that's the joke. Scarlet O'Hara. Did, did you wear a curtain? <laughs> no, I didn't wear a curtain. No, no curtains. I wore, um, you know, some sort of, um, uh, it was like something made out of a potato sack, I think. It was some sort of garb. Now, you have a great story about how Mel Brooks cast you in this movie, how you went into the audition. Tell me this story. Uh, well, I, I, I decided, you know, I decided to go in as the character. And so uh, either, you know, either you get the part or, you know, they, they call the authorities and they, they take, take you out in a, take you out in a straight jacket. Did you go in in tights? No, I, I didn't go in as, I just, I just went, in, went in as the character. And as I, I went in, I, you know, started doing, I did the scene and kind of improving with Mel. And, uh, he, you know, he immediately got it. And it was, uh, we just started working off each other. And it was... Um, okay, now, it was, Matthew's being very modest. There's a really interesting voice that goes along with this character. Walk me into that room. You meet Mel. What are you saying? And what do you sound like? Well, uh, I, I walk in and I, I go, uh, hello, Mel, how you doing? All right. This is, uh, uh, now Matthew, he, he asked me, uh, now how did you, I did like some backflips or things, back handsprings in the, in the room before that. And he goes, now how did you learn how to do that? And I go, well, Mel, I said that, uh, you know, I was raised by a wild pack of circus clowns, you know, and uh, I, I had to be integrated back into society. And, uh, you know, the, the hardest part of that really was uh, toning down my makeup. And so, oh, hey, because that's the comedy lives right there in the makeup. You see what I'm saying? You're for like, me. forget it. Oh, right, my God. It, you're, it. you're hired. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, he, uh, yeah, just, uh, he was having fun. Just, uh, we were bantering back and forth. And, uh, you know, I won the lottery. He hired me. Now, that's kind of an irony that you go from men in tights to playing the real Robin Hood. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, they're very similar. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it just so happened that I I had done done this film, and it really was. It really didn't have much to do with with actually getting the role. It was just kind of an anecdote in the audition uh, when I went in. They said, "Oh, and uh, you did, what was it like working with Mel Brooks?" And then tell some Mel Brooks stories, and 
you know, Matthew, more Jewish, action. I'm like, uh, I don't know, sunrise, sunset, da I don't know what that means. So, uh, you know, he'd say uh, things like, uh, some of you will be in Men in Tights too, some of you will not, action. We all kind of look at each other like, there's going to be a Men in Tights too? Like, anyway, so. Yeah, an interesting thing about you is you're a wonderful singer. Uh, yeah, I've done, uh, I was in Les Miserables. I uh, played the part of Marius, did that in a uh, handful of companies uh, on the road, San Francisco and on Broadway. We should add that you were like 22 at the time. Yeah? yeah I like was really young. young? I was young. And uh, yeah, it was one of those, it was my first big job. And I, uh, it was a part that kind of fit me, fit me like a glove. It was great. And then I, I just recently did uh, Passion, uh, James Lapine, Stephen Sondheim musical. Uh, which won a Tony. This man is the most modest actor you will ever meet. Yes, the show won a Tony, all right. That's right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's... Um, uh, that, was a, that was an amazing experience. Where do you shoot Robin Hood? We shoot it in Lithuania. Really? Yes, we do. Lithuania would be a Baltic state. You know, and you know what's funny? <laughs> Why Lithuania? You know what's funny is that, uh, you know, as, a, as an actor, it's like, I think you, you know, you picture a million things in your uh, in your career you know from uh, you know the big job to actually winning an Oscar but you know doing Robin Hood in Lithuania never never crossed my mind on the list of things no not so much what's the hardest part of playing Robin Hood for you uh, toning down my makeup no uh, <laughs> uh, I think uh, you know I mean it's, it's really just fun. I mean, there's really nothing hard about it. I mean, I, I, I get up in the morning and I, you know, I, I go back to being 10 years old again. And so, um, you know, it's, it's exactly why I became an actor. You know, it's like I, I go out and sword fight in the, you know, in the, in the forest and rob from the rich and give to the poor. I mean, it's, a, you know, horseback riding. I mean, it's, it's great. And does Maid Marion have a kid sister? Does she, does she have a cute Yes, you're absolutely invited to Lithuania. You can be in the show. I can, be, I can yes, go to Lithuania. God, just come out and say it. Just I want to go to Lithuania. <laughs> Forget that Oscar. That's what I wanted. You are so cool. Thank you oh, so much. This has been so nice hanging out with you. Yeah. <laughs> Robin Hood. Here I am. I like, but uh, just looking at uh, Forbes. Oh, yeah, because I have technique. a lot of interesting things to say. Because, yeah. you know, I'm not there sword fighting and doing silly things that I do. Did you, did you see the? You can't answer that. Yeah. But did you see the tape? Did I give you a tape? Yeah. I meant to give you a tape. Yeah. yeah. And you loved it, right? It was the most incredible oh, thing you ever saw. so good. Yeah. <laughs> so bad. It's so bad. Yeah, so. Now. Do, 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 do. Hey, Forbes. Huh? How you doing? Anyway, so there I was. I, I, uh, I was surrounded by a bunch of Russian stuntmen, and uh, they were mad at me because I had. Uh,